Martha had a sister named Mary and a brother named Lazarus. Of the three, Martha was indeed the most aggressive. In the Holy Bible, we meet her just three times, first in Luke, when Martha opens their home to Jesus and his disciples. While Martha's sister Mary sat at the feet of Jesus listening, Martha busily made all the preparations. Growing a little upset, she says to Jesus, Lord, don't you care that my sister had let me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Jesus replies, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. You know that story though, right? What about the second time in the Gospel of John? In John, she is outside the tomb of her brother Lazarus, who had died four days prior. Again, her feistiness shows when Jesus arrives and Martha runs to him, saying, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Jesus replies, Your brother will rise again. What? You know this one too? Okay, let's jump to when John mentions her again. Here, we see Martha serving a meal held in Jesus' honor, where her brother was also attending. In John's Gospel, he simply writes, and Martha served. She doesn't complain, stress, or get frustrated, thus showing the growth she has accomplished spiritually with trust in Jesus Christ. So that's the three times we hear about Martha in the Bible. But, I think we can teach you something you didn't know. According to legend, Martha ended up in Cyprus with her brother Lazarus. Living there only a short time, many people sought out Martha because of her association with Jesus. You see, after Jesus' death and resurrection, we don't hear anything else about Martha, right? But the people along the Rhone River, between Ares and Avignon, certainly had. Haven't heard about this? Well, that's why we're here. While documentation is scarce, it's said that along the bottom of the Rhone River lurked a beast. It was half animal and half fish, dare we say, a dragon. The dragon would topple travelers' boats and killed each person on them. The people, knowing Martha's favor with Jesus, asked her for help. Martha, Martha, it's a real dragon. Please help. Martha, please, Martha, please. Martha set out to find the dragon, and just as she did, she witnessed it beginning to eat a man. She pulled out her container of blessed holy water, proceeding to sprinkle it on the dragon, and held up a cross to the creature. Miraculously, the dragon stopped, not slowed down, not temporarily distracted, stopped. The dragon was now under Martha's will. She took off her girdle and used it to tie the dragon up. Once the dragon was weakened, the villagers killed it with stones and lances. Just a legend, you say? Historians have recently said that it is very likely Martha ran into a stray alligator, as they have been known to this day to occasionally be spotted there. Nonetheless, her growth in wisdom, patience, faith, and humility are certainly something we could all learn from. Not to mention wrestling a dragon and tying it up with a girdle. Now that's one cool saint. She is the patron saint of housekeepers, cooks, servants, and travelers. 